Do you care to pay your respects? Holy crap! You are creepy as shit, sneaking up on me, wearing that collar with that freaky-ass smile. My apologies. Well, I'm Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Hey guys, it's the Pink King here. Welcome to Spoo- Oh wait, give me a moment here, so, something's not right. So, something's, something's not right here. What is it, what is it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Much better. Hey guys, it's the Pink King here, and welcome to Spooky Month. This October, I've got a lot planned for you all, with a lot of scares and fun to be had. But first, let's start this month off with something I've wanted to talk about for a while now. That being how we were all wrong about Pennywise. More specifically, Pennywise the Dancing Clown is a nightmarish monster from the novel It by Stephen King, a story that I probably don't need to explain to you all because despite only being a one book and two movie adaptations, this story has become iconic. And that's all thanks to the character of Pennywise. This murderous clown is the stuff of nightmares, but there's been something about this demon clown that has left me scratching my head for years now. And now having rewatched both the 90s version and the 2010s versions, that realization has become more clear to me now. We were all wrong about the remakes. For several years now, I've whenever I've talked about these movies, all I've heard is that they are remembered as being much more scary and being the better version compared to the original 90s version, as the remakes did a lot better scares. But now that the hype for the movie has died down, I've had some serious doubts in this matter, as although as movies the remakes are probably better in terms of like like all the main things that you need to make a movie with, I think in terms of main attraction, that being Pennywise, I think the original miniseries did the clown far better. But why do I think this? Well, it comes down to a few things I've noticed while rewatching the movies. And one of those things was, the remake tries way too hard to scare you. Take the scary moments as an example in the 2017 movie. Whenever Pennywise turns into kids' worst fear, there's too many over-the-top sound effects and loud music. It's so overwhelming that once you see it, it's not effective. It comes across as just visual and literal noise. It might jump scare you here and then, but once you see it afterwards, it's the continuous use of it that makes the horror feel cheap and forced. Now, I'm not going to act like the original miniseries was much better in this regard, but it definitely did it in a way that was more effective. It wasn't always throwing everything in your face all at once. They really took their time with certain scenes to creep you out, with the practical effects helping it to feel real, as well as the music. Gosh, the music was surprisingly underrated for the original series. It's slow and ominous, it sounds familiar like a carnival but it's twisted sort of, creating a strange unnerving effect. But in the remake it's so in your face that all the scares fail to land effectively. There's so many loud obnoxious noises and music that it just ruins the effect that they were going for. Another reason why I believe the original's horror was better though, was with Pennywise himself. Funny enough, while doing research for this video, I came across someone's review from years ago now where they discussed the exact same issue I've noticed for all these years now. Who am I talking about? Well, it's the Nostalgia Critic, surprisingly. Hi, Georgie! Nope. Hey, wait, where are you going? 
Hey, wait, where's he going? No kid would be drawn to someone that scary looking. Yeah, but they were drawn to him and he's not even scary. Exactly, you dumbass. One of the reasons Pennywise creeped people out so much is he was a legitimately good clown. He was goofy and funny, so he could lure kids into his evil traps. This guy couldn't lure awkward fan art to Tumblr. Hey, I was legitimately creepy. I feed off people's fears. But you don't feed off their dumb. Something has to draw them in. You this is by far the biggest reason why Tim Curry's Pennywise is just so much more effective than Skarsgård. With Curry's, he looked and acted like a real clown. He was a silly goofball, but there was something off about him. It was believable that kids would genuinely fall for his tricks because he seemed too human. But the things that made it unnerving was the ways they clearly chose to film his scenes. He looks like a run-of-the-mill clown, yet he's put into certain areas where you wouldn't see a clown normally, like a drain, or in a garden, or in a bathroom. He instantly becomes unsettling because he doesn't belong in where he is. It's uncanny. It takes what you know and flips it on its head, in a way that makes you question what's going on. It plays with your mind, and it plays with what you do know in order to create something you don't. But if you look at the remakes Pennywise, his design and behaviour feels like it's trying way too hard to be scary, and thus doesn't become scary. It just feels too obvious. It feels standard rather than unnerving, because now a lot of that creep factor is just gone. However, despite all these things, there was one thing I noticed above all else when rewatching these things. And it honestly really surprised me when realising this, because as despite Tim Curry's Pennywise being more scarier than Skarsgård's, there's still an issue here. That being, neither really do a good job at portraying Pennywise. Think about it. Tim Curry's is creepy and unnerving, but there's too many moments where he's just too silly to take seriously. Like when he's digging the graves or constantly flashing his teeth, along with the bizarre editing of the miniseries. It comes off as just too goofy to be taken as a serious threat. And then you have the opposite problem with Skarsgård, where he's not goofy enough. He feels like he's trying way too hard, and he misses unbelievably. And so the realism factor and the unsettling nature of Curry's performance is just completely absent here. Funny enough, if you were to combine the, the two Pennywises here, I feel like that would create the best result ever. You'd have the creepy nature of Curry's portrayal, but keep the more serious nature of Skarsgård one, creating the best blend from two worlds. In conclusion though, I don't think either Pennywise is a real good version of Pennywise. However, with the new Welcome to Derry series coming out very soon, I hope the creators can learn from the mistakes of both Pennywises in the past in order to create something truly creepy. Be able to adapt what Stephen King wrote so long ago into screen in a way that feels truly justified. Because I think that's the main reason why both Pennywises struggle. They both fail to justify their existence. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with my opinions, or do you have some thoughts of your own? Let me know in the comments, I'm very interested to see what you guys have to say. And I read all of your guys' comments, so I'm very interested to talk about this with you. Also, don't forget, my goal is to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and with your help, we can definitely achieve that. We are just 300 subscribers away from achieving my goal. And with your help right now, if you subscribe, you'll not only help me reach my goal, but you'll help me make more videos just like this for you guys. And with that, like the video, subscribe, and it's been the Pink King here, and I will see you all next time.